This is the level 2 functional skills math paper from AQA. It is split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Question 1. Here is the fair spinner. Circle the probability that the spinner lands on A. So we're focusing on A. Let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four A's. That is out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of eight. Four is half of eight. And four eighths is the same as half. As a decimal, we write that 0 0.5. Here we have 0 0.5. And that's the correct option. Work out 2 cubed times 16 take away 4. So we've got to apply a bit mass here. Have we got brackets? Yes, we do. So we're going to focus on the brackets first. We'll write the rest exactly as it currently is. So 16 take away 4, that gives us 12. So we've done the brackets. Now what else do we have? We have indices, powers. That's the next one here. So 2 to the power of 3 is the same as saying 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So 8 times 12. We've done the indices. Now what's left is the multiplication. So 8 times 12. Let's just do it here. Order doesn't really matter. So 8 times 2 gives us 16. 6 down and 1 carry it over, 8 times 1 is 8, and the 1 is 9, so 96 is the answer. Complete the table to show equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. So we've got 3 fifths as a decimal, that's 0 0.6 and it's given to us. As a percentage, this is going to be 60%. If you're confused by that, I'll rewrite 0 0.6 here, which is the same as 0 0.60. So that is just like 60 pence in a pound. And we write it as 60%. Pence percent. It does help if you make that connection. Now we've got 11 fortieths, and we've got that being equal to 27.5%. What is that as a decimal? Now we're going to reverse the process here, so we're going to divide by 100. So we're going to write this as 0 0.275. So here we multiplied by 100 when we convert it into percentage. And here we divide by 100. If this confused you, again, so 27.5%. Focus on the 27% first, like 27 pence. How do you write it with a pound notation? You'd write it as this. Then add the 5 at the end, which is half a percentage point. And that's exactly the same as the number we have under decimal here. Now we've got 95%, which is 0 0.95. What is that as a fraction? 95% it means 95 out of 100. Now that is a fraction and we could leave it as it is because we haven't been told to simplify the fraction or to write it in its simplest terms. Just for practice here, we could simplify it. 
Again, it's not going to give us more marks. So we know that 5 fits into 95 as well as 100. So how many 5s would fit into 95? And how many 5s would fit into 100? It'd be good to start with the 100 in this case. So it's 20 of them that fit into 100 because 5 times 20 or 20 times 5 equals 100. Now when it comes to 95, that is 5 less than 100. So one lot of the 5 less. So that is going to be 19. So 19 fives fit into 95. 19 twentieths, that's the simplified version of the 95 hundredths that we had. Put the following numbers in order, starting with the largest. We've got 10, negative 6, negative 4, negative 1, 8 and 3. So we could link this with money or we could link it with temperatures, whatever you prefer. I'm going to draw a number line just to help us go through this. So if you imagine zero being here, then we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it continues nine, ten, and so on. On the other side, we'd have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and it continues like negative 7, negative 8, and so on. Let's see, have we shown all of the numbers? Well, we've got 10 here, so 10 will be placed here. We've got negative 6, negative 4, negative 1, we've got 8 and 3. So we're going to write them in order starting with the largest. So we're starting this way. So we've got 10 as the largest number. Then we have 8. We've got 3. 0 we won't include because it was just for our reference. And then we have negative 1 negative 4 and negative 6. Question 5a. Holiday. Sally is planning a holiday. Sally will be going with her son who is a child. The holiday will be for two weeks. She sees offers for two holidays. So we'll look at both in turn to compare them. So far we know that we've got an adult travelling with her son, so with a child, and the holiday will be for two weeks. So let's look at Talon first. We've got adult price being 450 per week, but we're looking at two weeks, so we'll double that. So two times 450, that gives us 900. Child price is 40% discount off adult price. So we'll take off 40% of the 900. As we can't use a calculator, we'll use the 10% method. So 10% of 900, that is like saying 900 divided by 10, which means knocking off zero. So that gives us 90. 20% is double that, which is 180. 40% is double the 20% amount, which is double 180. That gives us 360. So that is the discount, 360 pounds. So we're going to take it away from the 900. So 900 take away 360. 0, take away 0, gives us 0. We're going to take away 6 from the 0 now, which means we need to borrow 1 from the 9. So this becomes 10. Take away 6 gives us 4. 8, take away 3 gives us 5. So 540, that's the child price. 
So both together, the adult and the child, will be 900 add 540. So that's 0, that's 4, that's 14. So 1,440 pounds for the adult and the child. We've got a special offer which says stay two weeks, get one sixth off total cost. So that's the total cost so far. We're going to work out one sixth of that. So one sixth means one out of the six. So dividing 1,440 by six will give us one sixth of the amount. So one, four, four, zero divided by six. How many sixes fit into 14? Because it doesn't into one. So that is two of them, which is 12. So that means we've got two remaining. Now, how many sixes into 24? That is exactly four, because four times six is 24. How many sixes into zero? That is just zero. So 240 is one sixth of 1,440. So that is the discount, the final discount we get. So what we're going to do to find the final price is take away £240 from the 1440 So if I just do it here, it might be easier for me. So 240 0, 0, then we have 2. So £1,200 is the final price for going to Thailand. Now we're going to look at Hawaii. Let's look at Hawaii now. We've got adult price £660 per week. Child price 10% discount off adult price. Special offer second week free. So we only need to work these out for one week and add them together. So We've got the adult price being £660 and the child price is 10% discount off adult price. So we're going to work out 10% of £660 which is 660 divided by 10 and practically we can just knock off the zero at the end. So that is 66. So taking away 66 from 660 6 to be taken away from 0 means we've got to borrow 1 from the 6 so this becomes 10 10 take away 6 gives us 4 we've got to take away 6 from the 5 which means again we've got to borrow 1 here so 15 take away 6 gives us 9 5 take away 0 gives us 5 so 594 pounds is the price for the child so we're going to add them together 660 and 594 0 and 4 gives us 4 6 and 9 gives us 15 so 5 down and 1 is carried over 5 and 1 is 6 and the 6 is 12 so 1254 pounds and that's the total for Hawaii so Comparing the two amounts together, this is definitely cheaper. So we're going to say Thailand. Five B. Sally could use the airport car park for fourteen days. The total charge for parking is given by. Charge is equal to nineteen pounds ninety five pence plus twelve pounds times the number of days minus one. Sally says the total charge would be more than one hundred and seventy pounds. Is she correct? You must show your working. So we're gonna just replace these with what we know. So we've got nineteen point nine five 
plus 12 times number of days is 14. Take away 1. So applying bid mass, we're going to have to do brackets first. So I'll leave the rest as it is for now. 14 take away 1 is 13. Now again, applying bid mass, we know that we need to do the multiplication before we do the addition. So we're going to do 12 times 13 first. Now, if you don't know by heart what the answer is, you can just work it out. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2. Put a 0 down, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1. 6, 5, 1, so 156. So 19 pounds and 95 pence plus the 156 that we've got there. We could do it here. Making sure we line them up correctly. If it helps, you could add zeros after the decimal point here. You could put a decimal point and zeros, I mean, to help you. But make sure you line up units under the units, tens under the tens, hundreds under the hundreds, and so on. So we've got 5 and 0 gives us 5, 9 and 0 gives us 9, 9 and 6 is 15, so 5 down and 1 is carried over, 5 and 1 is 6 and the one seven. 1 and 0 is 1. So the total is £175.95. pence. Is it more than £170? Yes, that is. So Sally is correct. So we're going to say yes. £5.95 pence more. And this is the end of the first paper, the first part.